hello guys welcome to our fourth tutorial of windows builder in this video we'll understand about the components what we regularly use in our project and uh, it's very much important to understand the panel scroll panel j split panel table panel all these things but and also the layouts the absolute layout flow layout and all those layouts here so before you go in deeper understanding these two containers and layouts it's very much important to understand what are the fields first so once you understand the concept of fields then we will later go to this it's not recommended that you have to first learn the field but in my session i'm going to teach you first what are the components which we regularly use and what are the use of them and how to work with these things so this is how we work now so i'll just increase panel so by default you can increase like this also so let me 100 100 okay now i'll just talk about the j label now so what is j label j label displays a static text which you can't edit at the runtime so when i click on this so i'll just say this i'll just give a text here this is j label okay so i have given this is a j label i'll increase the size of this to some 15 and you can align it to center or anything and even you can change the color of this foreground so foreground so I'll just make it to red got it or else so I don't like red that much I'll just change it to some other color say some blue so this is blue so when I run it you can see the frame has been shown with a blue color the label is been shown now here you can see there's a background option in j label you can't directly change the background color because j label by default it gets synced with your j panel background color and works on it but what if you want to specifically change the background color see if i try to change the background color here directly something some red color you can see there is no change has happened but still it's showing the background color is red so i'll just change so to change the background color of the label just click on it go to show advanced properties and you can see the opaque and click on false so it is it is changed to white now because i have set it to white here so now what are the color you give it to it so it works now perfectly sorry I changed to the panel so click on it and change it any color you wanted like this so this is J label so in the next video we will understand what is J text wheel so thanks for now